Welcome to All the Mods 8, but guys, we had to restart, so we're doing Season 2. Welcome. And if you're wondering why we're starting off a Season 2, it's because our Season 1, uh, the world kind of got corrupted. I couldn't join the server. Every time I joined it, it would crash. Uh, so something happened in our world, so we had to go ahead and restart so we can continue playing with you guys. So this means it's a perfect time for you guys to go ahead and join. Uh, check the link below to see how to join the server, and you can play along with us. So guys, I have been a little busy here on All the Mods Season 2. Holy cow. Yeah, as you can see, I got some gear on, and we also got something else. We got this cool build. Yes. Oh, man. I really like it. This is what we're going to be calling our base for Season 2. Uh, this is my design. Built it myself. Built that cool tower. Uh, yeah, I've only been using stone tools. I got this sword off of a zombie that dropped it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this place is, on the outside, kind of done. I want to do a little bit more maybe here. Um, and possibly over here as well. What are you doing? Anywho... But yeah, we've done quite a bit of work. I've got quite a bit of resources, nothing too crazy. I don't have hardly any iron. Um, oh, we have an iron chest plate I got right here. Uh, but yeah, we have five raw iron. We have just a bunch of stone tools. Ooh, another stone or iron sword. But yeah, uh, I've just been getting those off of dudes, basically. Um, we'll probably, actually no, we'll put those back on because we get a speed boost. But yeah, we're gonna get crack a lacking into what we wanna do today, and that's gonna be immersive engineering. Because what we're going for this season is going to be kind of a, let's say, um, steampunk style builds, but they do have electricity. And I believe that immersive engineering is the perfect mod for it. Now, I know we went into this a little bit last season, but we really didn't do a deep dive like I want to do today um, or this season, not just today. I, I want to use a lot of these things on like on a daily basis. Um, like the windmill, water uh, water wheels, stuff like that. We'll use the razor wire. Um, we'll use the complex machines. These are really what I'm interested in is the aluminum posts. I think these things look so good paired up. Uh, I also like the wooden posts too. I think we'll be using these a lot. I really like how they're paired up with these guys here. The wire connectors will be utilizing a lot of these guys too. Uh, connecting wires, having some paths going along. This will be my kind of house and then we'll have a bunch of these guys kind of all around and scattered throughout doing kind of different things. We'll have a couple factories maybe. I wanna really get into the building aspect of all the mods eight because I feel like last season we were just really technical. The base didn't look that good. I didn't really like being it, but I really, really like how this base is turning out already. Oh, how did he die? What killed him? There was a... Oh, he's here. Look at this dude's sword. So it's sharpness five, mending, looting four, unbreaking five, capturing three. I really, really want this. Oh, the llama died. That's weird. I don't know how he did that. But anyway, yeah, this place isn't upstairs isn't really polished up. Neither is this and neither are those. I just really did the outside. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started into immersive engineering for this season. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need to make some bricks here. Um, yeah, we'll just throw these in here. Perfect, so what we need to make is a kiln brick. Uh, we need 12 of eight of these, so we're gonna need a little bit of bricks, a little bit of sandstone, and then we're gonna make some coke bricks. Um, and these are going to allow us to make creosote oil uh, which make us allow us to make treated wood, which is a big component of immersive engineering. And then this will allow us to create um, the, the kiln oven. We'll allow us to create alloys and stuff like that, like bronze and things like that in the future that we might need. So I think we're gonna go ahead and put them probably here. We'll probably move them out soon um, to maybe another build right here. Uh, maybe like a smaller shed, something like that, like have a yard over here or something I might be thinking about. Could be cool. Um, but yeah, we got to let these guys smelt up. Uh, and it's raining. It's a fun time. All right, so we got a couple of bricks here. So this means we can go ahead and make some kiln bricks. Uh, I do have a lot of sand. I had to collect I collected a lot more than I thought I needed. Um, why? Anything else we need? Whoa. Oh, that's nice. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So... We put these here. Bam, I'm actually gonna move that. Put the coke oven there. Um, let's see. 
we need to make a hammer. And I think we actually need to cook one of these raw iron that I have, which is totally okay. We can do that. We'll get plenty more. I know we might be a little wasteful. We missed out on one, but it's just one iron you can get. We'll have thousands here in maybe a week. <laughs> cool. So there we go. We can go ahead and make the hammer. Boom, boom. String up top. And then we can make the engineer's hammer. Click this and boom. There we go. We have our furnace, our alloy kiln here. And this will allow us to create uh, alloys. So that'll be great. So we can go ahead, hit A, get rid of that. So we're going to make some coke bricks now. So we're going to require 27 of these. So three by three is nine times three is 27. Yep, I remembered that correctly. Um, so we're going to need nine sandstone. We need one more. All right. And then we're going to need, see, nine times four is 36 of these guys. There we go. And then we're going to need 36 of these guys. So we need a couple more. I don't think we have enough. That is a bummer. That is a big bummer. But I have to go find some more. Okay, so we got the amount that we need for all of these. So there we go. We're going to go one, two, three. Break this, break this. That's okay. Boink. There we go. So we have ourselves a coke oven very good we'll just take uh, kind of a bummer that we're, we're losing some daylight with that but that's okay these are very important that we have here and all we need to do is we're just gonna grab dark oak because we can get so much of it all you gotta do is toss it in there this will make charcoal and it will make creosote oil that we'll pick up with a bucket so very good we have the required materials uh, yeah, so now we just got to let this process up and we'll get some creosote oil and we'll be ready. Okay, so we have four charcoal that have been produced. So that means we have one bucket available to us. Very good, very good. Let's see if we can get some wood around this guy. We're only going to be able to make eight of these planks, but we will be able to make many more in the future. Booyah! There we go. So we have the treated wood planks. Very good. Uh, I would love to be able to create a windmill today and start generating some power. Uh, maybe put it up high. Uh, I think it'd be really cool to put a windmill on this guy. Um, now, the reason I put the, the tower on this house is because I really was experimenting with this side over here. As you can see, it's a lot wider. It goes up a lot higher. And it looked weird because I had it cut off um like without it and it would just go straight down and it, it, it just looks kind of weird so then i put this here and i think it makes it look a lot better but now it kind of looks a little weird um so i think we're gonna put a windmill on one of these it might be this side and then we'll just run power down from it uh but then it'll always be running or we could put one on two on two sides that could also work or one on each side which is probably our best bet um and i believe we'll be able to make it today because i have a lot of wood so that's good. Okay, so to make some windmills, we're gonna need to actually craft up a couple of things. Uh, like obviously we're gonna need a lot of these guys. Uh, we're gonna need a total, let's see, eight times four. We're gonna need a total of 32 windmill blades. Uh, like that, that's okay. I feel like we could definitely do that if we're just patient uh, with this system over here. Like we already have two more buckets. So uh, we can just be a little bit patient on this. However, the kinetic dynamo, this guy, we definitely need some things for because if we use an engineer's workbench we just need two iron per one of these so we just need a total of four so we just need eight iron and four copper in order to make these if we do this we need a total of 16 iron so we save a lot on iron uh, so we need to go ahead and make this guy which requires us to make this dude so we're gonna need to craft up some more of these guys all right stay with me everyone i promise it would be, f oh, I didn't know you could even place that in the world. What did I get? Flammable. Oh, wow. That's new. I didn't even know that was an effect. That's really cool. All right. So we grab it, put the bucket in. Booyah. And we've even got another bucket already. Very cool. We're moving up in the world. I say moving up in the world. I mean, we already had another bucket ready to go. All right. Oh, we need wood. Wood. 
All right, so we now have 32 of these guys. Let's grab four more of these. We're gonna make another crafting table. We're gonna make an engineer's workbench. Engineer's crafting table, sorry. Uh, so we just need those. And then we do need some slabs. And then, booyah. So we have this, we have some slabs left over. All we need is the fence gates. We do need a couple more of these guys. Or uh, yeah, the fence, not the fence gate. And then, there we go, engineer's workbench. Boom, shakalaka, just like that. Very good. And we do actually need to smelt these guys up um, because we need to make a pickaxe. There is a little bit of our lapis down in a cave nearby that we, we have to mine it. Uh, so we do have to utilize iron pick so this means it's actually my second iron pick i think i got one in a villager town the village something like that so right here y level 40 we have a little bit of lapis ah we got 25 that's okay maybe we'll grab some more coal while we're here i've been using this to mine up soapstone for our roof uh, but hadn't made anything to mine it yet so yeah back up to the base Okay, so that wasn't the only thing we need. We need to make an engineer's blueprint, which is why we went down, uh, but we do need to get some aluminum. Okay, so this is the one thing I kind of forgot. Um, okay, I need to go look for some aluminum real quick. Sorry about that. Okay, so equipped with iron, copper, and aluminum, we should be able to go ahead and create this engineer's blueprint. Perfect. So now all we need to do is just chuck some iron in there and some copper. We'll be good to go. Oops, server's a little laggy right now. Someone's probably exploring. Okay, so looking for more iron, I have stumbled upon this dungeon thing that we are definitely not taking on this episode. Oh man, I have I do have some armor, but not nothing good. Uh, but yeah, I really just desperately need to get some more iron for our season here. Some ash. Nice, that was not helpful at all. But yeah, so I'll just be here mining some iron. Hopefully not dying. So yeah, that'll be fun. Oh no, above all. Okay, so something we're gonna do here real quick, because we have so much copper, we are going to start doubling our ores a little bit. So we'll get uh, 30 raw iron out of this guy. Uh, which is going to be sweet and i'll show you guys how we're going to do that so we're just going to craft up a simple uh ore hammer this guy here and if we do this boom it gives us two iron dust and then we can just chuck these guys into a furnace here somewhere should have some more perfect so yeah there we go lots of iron we got lots of copper so we'll make up these turbine things that'll be fun Okay, so let's go ahead and get started in crafting these. We're gonna need a lot of these guys actually. So I'm gonna craft up, Jesus, stack and half. That might've been a little too much, but that's okay. So what we need is a lot of these copper coils. Actually, we just need four of them. Uh, and then to get these, oh, we just stick. Oh my, we might have went a little overkill, but that's okay. We need a lot of these guys. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, so that's what we need for those. Uh, and I did grab some redstone while I was down in the caves. I'm so glad I did that. I didn't even realize that was super important to do. Um, oh wait, what do we need? We need iron plates. Oh, the KB. So one to one with the engineer's hammer that I put here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. There we go, a bunch of copper. We get four, yep, that's the exact amount we needed. Perfect, so here we go, four kinetic dime. Oh, we're out of iron. No, we're not, let's make some more. All right, we have all four of these kinetic dynamos. Very, very cool. So this is good because it means that we can get more power. Uh, we'll have four windmills going on our base here, and we'll just be running that power down. Uh, we have four buckets of creosote oil, so we need to start making some windmills. Um, where did my bucket go? There it is. There's the bucket. So cool. I'll grab a couple of stacks of wood, and we will get to crafting. Uh, 
Okay, so we got half a stack here of some tree wood. We have uh, quite a few of those guys. So let's go ahead and see how many of these we can create. So um, let's do six of those, do a total of 24. And okay, so we can make six. We need to make some more of these. Okay, probably a better way to do this. So we have nine, that is okay. We have one windmill down. And then, yeah, we, we need a lot more. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> but the cool thing is we have this windmill uh, and then we can add some cloth onto it, I believe. Is there a cloth? Yes. Windmill sail. And so if we go ahead and add this onto um, our windmill, it should make it even more powerful and generate more power. And the cool thing is, is right over here, I started farms so that we can get food and plant things. Yes, this is working brilliantly. Okay, you can't do that. But yes, the this one's full of grown industrial hemp, so I will be growing these guys. And I don't think we're going to be able to put the cloth onto the windmill today, uh, but it means we'll probably do it here in the future because I'm definitely going to continue to farm that. Oh my, it's thundering out. That's creepy. Okay, so we now have all four kinetic dynamos and all four windmills. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to take some dirt. We're going to kind of get our way up to the top. I've already kind of got an idea of how we're going to do this. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> actually, I hear footsteps. It's a bee. Here we go. Check us out. We got some of these guys too. Perfect. Okay. So let me get up to the middle area and yeah. Okay. So we're up here at the top area and I'm a little, I wouldn't say concerned, um, but I do. So we need to place it from the outside. Okay. I wonder if we're just gonna have to run some energy cables. So I think I'm gonna have it on the bottom one here. Uh, oh, yep, trapdoor. And so we kind of need this to be here. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so we kind of need that to be here, so it means it's gonna stick out kind of on the block. Doesn't rub into anything. Okay, yes. The windmill is working. Let's, let's see here. I'm gonna go on this, and we are going to see how it looks from the ground. That looks really good. Oh my gosh. That looks great. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely liking that. We might have to change some things up a little bit. That is totally okay. I'm very excited for this. So we're gonna take, get some spruce stairs. Um, let's see, we also probably need some spruce trap doors, perfect. Any more spruce? Yes, we do, awesome. So, oh, there's some more stairs over here. We'll grab those and we'll even grab the slabs. Um, and I actually think we probably aren't gonna use the stairs as much as I thought, but we will definitely use the trap doors. Um, yeah, actually, <clears throat> slash back. Good. All right, so, um, let's see. know how I'm gonna get this one down below um, like this perfect and then we 
Maybe do that one more time. Um, yeah, so I'll break this temporarily. And then... Hmm. I wonder if we just ran a cable in if you'd be able to see it. I, I want to make sure that this looks good, but we have to break this guy, this guy, and this guy in order for it to look good. Hmm. I wonder, is there something that we can use to transmit the power? Um... We could, we could try to utilize one of these. These are industrial contraptions. Is there anything from immersive engineering that moves power in a block form? Because we just need a block. Let me do some research here real quick. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to put an upside down stair like so. We're going to put a solid block here and here. And then we're going to place a, a dirt block here like so. And then we're going to put that on it. And then we're going to put this here. And this is going to be how it looks. Yeah, I think this is going to work. It still kind of looks the same, but I, I, <clears throat> like a little different. Um, so I think that will be <clears throat> the best way to run power. And then we can just grab it right out the back and we don't have to worry about it. But yes, the windmill is a work. And... And it looks a good. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other ones on there. And we will be able to look at all of them. So let's look at it one more time. Let's check it out from the ground. This should look a lot better. Yeah. It kind of looks like there was some reinforcement put there for the, the jetting out. So I, I like that a lot. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it on each corner and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we have all of the windmills set up over there, but we need to be able to get that power out of it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here is for one, we're going to create a spot for it to go. Uh, we do have a bit of lead here that we can start smelting up. Uh, yes, we even have a lot of charcoal. So we need some lead to kind of smack around, but and then we're also going to be creating some of these relays. Good thing is I have quite a bit of copper and quite a bit of clay. That turned out super well. Um, yes, yeah, so we have 28 of these. So these are going to go on to each of the windmills and then they will connect up to uh, this guy here, a low voltage accumulator. And then I believe we can take this guy and like bring power down, but we need a central area for our materials. So we should have, we're missing iron. Okay. I have a very low amount of iron. So yes, let's get back up to the top. Booyah, so here we go. Um, we're gonna put the low voltage accumulator here. I'm gonna put some torches in here so we have a little bit of light. Um, yeah, I was thinking we put him here. Um, so blue is energy input. We can just turn that off. All of these are gonna be input. All right, and so we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna take this guy, and let's, geez, Louise, that startled me a little bit. <laughs> it's just a stupid mob spawning in because it's nighttime, okay? And we have this low voltage, boom, this low, low voltage, this low voltage, and this low voltage cool so this guy should be charging up with power as you can see it sure is how are we doing there Oof, we're not generating a lot of power but that is a-okay so what we need to do now is find a way to get down below but i want to use vein miner because i need to get onto the dirt Cork is useful sometimes. Cool, and then we need to get here. That needs to be output. And then I'll put that there, slash home again. We need to grab a little bit. We need one more of those, actually. 
So we're gonna use that guy for now because we aren't able to get like the big relay to connect everything together. So we do need to utilize, basically we're just gonna hold power in another one. Um, so this should be good now. Get one, two. Boom. And then we need one more iron, which we do have. Boom. And then we need four more redstone. This boom. And what are we missing? Oh, we didn't get the one. Okay, what else are we missing? Treated wood. Okay, one, two, three. We need to make some more treated wood. Okay. Oh my word. Cool, that should be it. Boom. Low voltage. Let's go up here. And you can see that is placed. So I'll put this guy here. Okay, so it brought us up here. So we'll click this. This might kill us. Yeah. Nope, we're good. Too far away. Ah, so we're gonna have to go all the way back up. That's better. Okay. Okay, so this is as far as we can go with that. Oh, okay, I shouldn't have done that. I feel dumb. Let's try it again. Okay, we'll put him here. And we'll connect those up. Okay, so this should be, okay. It's not gonna be pulling power out because I didn't set it to output. We gotta go back up one more time. Okay, so now we are outputting signal. Ouch, yes. Perfect, we are getting power here now. <sighs> okay, so this is really cool, honestly. Um, we need to make a couple of relays here. Those are really simple to make. Um, and I have almost everything in my inventory. But we need to get the power down here. Uh, so this will be, all right, give me a couple relays. All right, so we got a, oh wow, perfect stack. Oops, where do we get more? Oh, perfect stack. Yes, so we'll put this guy here, outputting like so right into here and let's make a good route um this might actually be decent if we can get it over here because i do have a section back here and then we could run it over to here kind of a bummer when you plan the stuff out. okay so i've got a pretty cool idea here that we're gonna do uh we're actually just gonna poke a hole right out the side and we are going to run a cable right out to it um now i am going to utilize trap doors right now so you can run cable or the the cable through them and what we're going to do is make a pipe and it's going to run power straight into the ground but we'll be able to kind of move things um like we'll re eventually replace it with a like a metal-ish trap door um yeah, like we don't really have any good actually i wonder i wonder if we were to make let's test let's test out this guy lock of copper trap door no okay but we do have it that's not the one we want but we will be able oh yeah okay so we're gonna need to wait and age a bunch of copper and then we can u utilize those for it. They're a little broken textured, that's okay. Uh, for now, we'll just utilize uh, ordinary trap doors. We just need to figure out how far this needs to go. So I'm gonna come out through, actually. Can we place this on the bottom? No. Uh, I placed that wrong anyway. Okay, and this also needs to be a relay. This needs to break. And we need to place one here and we need to put it like this. Yes, okay. So the cable should be able to connect through here. Connect to here. Yes, it's perfect. So then we'll have it kinda. Oh, I was wondering if it was gonna bite me. <laughs> Okay, 
So we're gonna probably have to knock this tree out, which is unfortunate. But we'll come out, say, to here, and we'll do another one. Because it's just a relay, and I know it looks a little ugly, but let's come straight out and down. And then we'll be able to close it in. Like, again, this will all be the um, the copper eventually once we get it aged. And we'll be able to connect it from here to here. And then we'll bring this out to here. And then it'll go straight down. So let me clear out this tree. Okay, so we have it coming out over there and then coming straight down and going here. Uh, and then again, we'll be able to put these along once they're like, obviously they'll be the, whatchamacallit, the uh, copper thing. So it'll look like a, a pipe or we could even utilize something else like iron or something along the lines of that something that looks industrial um, and we'll be able to run it down. And then like, it, it'll just look like it fits, which is the really important thing when it comes to this is just looking like it belongs. Um, and right here we have a furnace. We got some soapstone right below us. That's pretty neat. Okay. And so if I connect this from here, I'll probably die. Let's get up. Connect that now. Very good. Fill that back in. Eventually we'll upgrade all of those. And I'll do a lot more copper gathering on my spare time. Cool, and then we'll put something here. I think it might be important to put another low voltage accumulator here, like another battery for power. Um, if you guys know of a way to move power through a block, um, please let me know what that's called in immersive engineering. I would really like to know. I believe there is something we can do for that. I just don't know what it is. Is it simply just clicking it with this that might do it? Let's try that. I remember it being something kind of simple last time I did it. So let's see if we put this here, we'll need to break this guy. Oh man, so many block breakings. We need to put one here. And if we do this. Hmm. What if they are low voltage connectors? Jeez. Okay, wait, can this go through blocks? Connection is obstructed. But what if we do this? No, this needs to be a relay. And then we go boom, boom, connection obstructed. Can we click this? Hmm. Let me guys know what you think down below in the comments. It'd be very helpful. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching the video. Today we set up power and we'll be able to use some simple machinery in the next episode. I'm very excited for that. We have, geez, we have crazy noises going on. But yeah, guys, if you stuck around to this, might as well become a member and join the server because we'd love to have you here. Anyway, check out the link down below, become a member on the channel and you'll be able to join. No problem. Iron Turtle more. Anyways, take care everyone. Peace out. Love your face. Bye-bye.